Hi, uh, this is Mr. Bullock again going over uh, the preparation book. Uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, you're just going to have to follow along, I suppose. This is the SAT preparation book that you can pick up uh, down in the counseling office at any high school. These are free. Uh, and inside of these books, they have, uh, they have, uh, they have some strategies on what to do. Uh, let's see, they, you know, they give you directions. It's a great book to get yourself familiar with the, uh, uh, the SAT. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the first section, you guys. Actually, the first section is the essay. And Mr. Barry covers always the first section on the SAT is the essay. Mr. Barry covers the uh, essay portion of the SAT. Um, so I'm going to skip that. We're going to go to section two. And I'm just going to cover, cover a f the first few problems in this video. And then we'll move on to the next one here. OK, here's the. And uh, remember, you guys, all these go easy, medium, hard, and on every math section, uh, they always give you the basic formulas. And this is the only time you'll see them, the basic formulas here. So you got the circle, area of a circle, circumference, uh, and then you have the, air, the area of a rectangle. Just the basic formulas you learn in geometry right here. Here's, here's 30, 60, 90 in one of the videos I did. And then here's the 45, 45, 90. They are addicted to these guys, you guys, the 30, 60, 90s, and the 45, 45, 90s. All right, here we go. Let's do number one, you guys. Remember, they start with the easy, and then they get progressively harder. Okay, number one. If uh, 10 plus x is 5 more than 10, what is the value of 2x? Okay, let's just write it down. 10 plus x is means equals. 5 more than 10, well that means something plus 5, so it's going to be 10 plus 5. And you just go ahead and solve for x, and I go blah, 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 you solve for x, and you get x equals 5. And so, careful you guys, x is not, 5 is not the answer, they're trying to trick you here. They're asking for 2x. Whenever you see a x type of problem, watch out, they're trying to trip you up. They're trying to, like I said in one of my videos, they hate teenagers and they're trying to get you on this. So 2x is 2 times 5, so you get c. Okay, let's see, number 2. The result when a number is divided by 2 uh, is equal to the result when the same number is divided by 4. Okay, I'm going to let x be the number, you guys, and I, I represent division by a fraction. The result when a number is divided by 2 is the same as the result, the same number, so I'm going to use x again, is divided by 4. Okay, here I have a, a proportion, and proportions you can do a cross multiply, so I get uh, uh, 2x equals 4x. And so what's x going to be? x has to be 2 times what number is going to be the same as 4 times what number? Well, it's right this one right here. Plugging in numbers, too, is a good idea. So if I didn't know what to do on this, I can plug in the numbers, see which one worked. Uh, and C works. Okay, I'll stop with this video. See you on the next one.